We're going to do some rapid fire here. We want to know if these series converge or diverge. We can pull a one third out of this first series. That one third isn't going to affect anything. So we can just look at the natural log of n over n. Well, we know that a series with a one over n diverges. That's because this is a p series with p equals one. And if we want to compare these two series, we can say that the natural log of n over n is greater than 1 over n. Now maybe we can just say that for n values, say greater than or equal to 3. But the natural log function is bigger than 1 for all large values of n. Therefore, we can make an argument that our series is bigger than the divergent series. Now a divergent series goes off to infinity, so our series must also go off to infinity. Therefore, our first series diverges, and we used a direct comparison to do that. Now for our next series, we're asking what does this series kind of look like? Well, to me, it looks like this series might behave a little bit like 1 over n cubed. This series converges because it's a p series with p equals 3. So we should probably figure out how to compare these two series. Well, a limit comparison test is pretty convenient for this. We just take our original series, divide by the series that we're comparing to. We can do the old coffee dot flip or just dividing fractions. And taking this limit doesn't take too much work. I'm just going to squeeze it in. This limit is 1. Since this limit here is finite and it's not 0, that means that these two series that we're comparing behave the same. That means they either both converge or they both diverge. Because this series converges, we now know that this series converges. So we have ourselves a convergent series. We'll try to squeeze this third problem in. We need to ask the question, what will this series behave like as n gets really big? And as n gets really big, this 8 in the numerator and this 6 in the denominator aren't going to play much of a part in the size of each one of these terms. So we expect the series to behave kind of like 6 to the n over 3 to the n. Well, that can be simplified to 2 to the n. That is a divergent series. It's a geometric series with an a value of 2. 2 is bigger than 1, therefore this series is going to diverge. Now, I think that we have our answer. I think that this series diverges. If we want to do this a bit more technically, well, we just have to use a limit comparison. If we divided our two series, we would get a little bit of an algebra mess. But ultimately, what we're going to find is that we have a 6 to the n in the numerator, a 6 to the n in the denominator. We could divide both the numerator and the denominator by that 6 to the n. Then taking that limit as n goes to infinity is just going to give us another 1. Again, and this limit is finite and it's not zero, that tells us that these two series behave the same. And since we know that this series diverges, then we know that our series diverges. So we have ourselves a divergent series. As far as problem four goes, I'm just going to scribble a little bit of algebraic simplification right up here. The term inside of this sum can be simplified and just written as 5 over n squared plus 2n. If we want to compare that to a series, we would just pull the 5 out and compare it to 1 over n squared. Now, another limit comparison is going to tell us that these two series behave the same. And since this series converges, that is a p series with p equals 2, then the series we're given converges as well. For this last problem, which we're just going to squeeze in down here, we should probably rewrite this cube root of n to the seventh power as n to the 7 thirds power. What that tells us is that this series is going to behave like a 1 over n to the 7 thirds series. Now this is a p-series, and that p-value is 7 thirds. That 7 thirds is bigger than 1, so this series converges. Another limit comparison test, just like problem 2 and problem 3, except even simpler, is going to verify that these two series behave the same, meaning they both converge or they both diverge. And since this series down here converges, the series that we're given converges as well. Okay, there was a rapid-fire problem for you. I hope that at least one of those five problems helped you out, and I hope to see you in the next video.